What's up, everybody? Brothers, sisters, psychonauts, and seekers of truth. It is Anonka, and welcome to my bazaar. Today, I have a BZ trip report for you. BZ is a delirium similar in effects to Benadryl, except it usually lasts around four days. The title of this trip report is Army Volunteer Account, Edgewood Arsenal, and was submitted to Irwid in 2007, but the experience itself takes place in 1963 and was submitted by the user, John. With all that being said, let our story begin. Irwid Note this transcript of an Army volunteer's experience with BZ is reproduced from Chemical Warfare by James Ketchum at 2006 by the author, used with permission. Dose, 7 UG per kilogram. On Thursday morning, at about 8.30 a.m., I was injected with the drug, BZ. I felt no different at that time. About an hour later, I felt very restless, and I wanted to get up and walk about, but the nurse said I had to stay flat on my back. I have no idea when I fell asleep, but it must have been between 8.30 and 12 o'clock noon, because I cannot remember eating lunch. In fact, I cannot remember eating or drinking during the entire test. I will now describe some of the dreams I had. There was supposed to be an inspection in the barracks by a general, and I had just come back from leave. I was trying to get ready for it. The only difficulty I had was that I could only find one boot, so I put on a pair of shower shoes. When the general saw them, he asked why I was wearing them, and I told him that I was under orders from a doctor not to keep my feet enclosed, but to let air at them. He believed me and left the room. In this same dream, I had a girl waiting for me down the hall. I wanted to go out and see her, but the nurse wouldn't let me, so after trying to fight my way out, and failing, I called the MPs who promptly arrested them. After that, I found out that they were going to beat me up, so I tried to make friends with the one who appeared to be the leader. It must have worked, because I don't remember a beating. In another dream, I remember that I kept falling down. I told everyone that I had lost my balance but I really felt that something was seriously wrong with me. I remember taking only one fall that really hurt me. The others weren't very bad. In another short dream, I can remember red lights blinking on and off, but that's all I can remember about it. I can remember no ridden tests or anyone taking blood. Another effect of the drug Besides being restless, was a slight headache, and a feeling of being very lightheaded and having trouble focusing my eyes. To the best of my knowledge, the other subject was in the room when I fell asleep, but when I woke up, he and his bed were both gone. I can remember eating a meal. I don't know what meal it was, but it consisted of beans cold cuts, and for dessert I had peach ice cream. This was Sunday, February 10th, 1963. I seem to remember Mrs. King and Mr. Stern being there for a while. About what, I don't remember. In another dream, I met a girl whom I had known for some time. We had been going out quite a bit together but then I broke it off with her. She didn't look right to me, and I asked what was wrong, but she started crying 
and wouldn't tell me. Finally, she admitted that she was pregnant. I didn't ask her anything else, and then the dream ended. I could not understand why. She was always so careful not to go that far. This girl I speak of is a girl I went with for about two years. I stopped going out with her altogether in June of 1960, but in the dream I wanted to go back and take her out again. If there were any tests taken while I was under the drug, I don't remember them at all, nor do I remember eating or drinking anything except for the one meal that I described before. I do remember refusing to take orange juice and getting mad at whoever tried to give it to me. I also remember trying to break out of a room, probably the one I was in, but I'm not sure. I tried to rip some of the walls or padding off. Another incident I remember was sneaking out of my room and going for a walk. Also, when I woke up this morning, I noticed that there were white sheets on the bed, but before I was injected, there were green sheets. Now that I think back, I can remember blood being taken once. It seemed to be very, very painful. I also remember my hands and feet being red in color. At one time, I seemed to have a sore throat. It was then I asked for and received a drink of water. Note, Ketchum's book includes a detailed transcript of what occurred in the real world simultaneous with John's subjective report. The subject showed typical symptoms of BZ intoxication, alternating between stuporous slumber and incoherent delirium. The experience lasted for about 85 hours and occurred in a special medical testing facility in Edgewood Arsenal, Maryland. All right, everybody. That is the end of our story. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Share with us your BZ experiences down in the comments. Check out the other playlists on my channel. And I will see you in the next one, fam. Doses.